Hello, I'm Nathan Ahmad and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about War of Rights and the update 55 to 58 uh, as they came out over a series of couple of days. We'll start with the uh, May 31st update which was 55. Obviously just before I start talking about that, the background is the trailer for the game uh, which was released when the game was announced. So. May 31st update 55, uh, basically all over the series of the updates there's been a lot of graphical tweaks and a lot of bits and pieces like that added, as you can see this is the old gameplay at the moment and then I'll show you a little bit of a video of some new gameplay. So in May 31st the added time left and ticket information to the deployment screen, the server browser now displays maximum amount of players on each server, added auto kick functionality for team killing improved performance of the grass, tweaks the hairs and eyes of characters, reduce the amount of bloom making rendered images seem sharper, tweak the look of clouds and change the overall light and level resulting in more natural look, fix various animation and glitches while aiming and cocking and revolver while kneeled, overhauled crepis, kepis sorry. So that's the May 31st tweak so, so a lot of graphical bits and pieces and that's going to be the sort of theme over the next one so that was the 31st the next sort of update was 56 and that was on the June 2nd released fourth skirmish arena to Antietam Westwood inspired by General Sedwick's first division push into the Westwoods at 0930 hours major overhaul of spectacle values resulting in much more consistent visual look fixed the Neil reload anim animation Overhauled a number of facial hairstyles. Reduced the CSA tickets from 175 to 150 on Brunside Bridge Skirmish Arena. When you stop crouching, the character will now be ready. Sorry, the character will be now at the ready. You can now walk for two seconds at the ready instead of a previous one second. Aiming from the right shoulder shift will no longer result in the character playing an entire ready animation twice. So that was the June 2nd. Again, some more tweaks to the animation. Uh, not so much on the uh, graphical side, but more animation on that one. So the next update was the next day, so the June 3rd, update 57. Updated reload sounds and muddle, muzzle loads. Updated the explosion sounds. Updated breathing sounds. Various characters and material tweaks. Various weapon material tweaks. Fixed the invisible CSA NCO bug. Fixed a bug causing a high amount of screen blur when dynamic depth of field settings had been set off. Small tweaks to the Westwood Skirmish area, Arena or area, sorry, at Antietam. Again, that was all about the sound and all the other bits and pieces of the game. So the June 4th update was the 58th update, and it's uh, basically out the drill cramp server back up and running. So they've now got the ability to go back and practice and stuff. So a lot of visual and graphical updates and some sound updates and that, all good. And we'll go on to the next video and you shall see uh, what it's basically done. Right, so I went onto an empty server just so I could go around and have a look at the visual tweaks and sound updates. So there's not going to be no fighting, there'll be me running around for a little bit and just having a look. But one thing I was immediately impressed with, as you can see now, is the graphic quality change in it. them small little tweaks that they've done has just made a massive world of difference. I noticed it, and you'll notice it more as I go inside the woods. Um, I was a little bit confused with the map when I was walking around, so I did go out of bounds a couple of times. But um, again, it, it's just a visually stunning game in, it, in its very early stages. Uh, I'm very, very impressed, and I'm very impressed with the development team. And like I say, this is an American-made game. Uh, and I'm playing on an EU server uh, and I've still got an amazing ping, amazing fresh rate. It, it, it runs smoothly, even when you see the artillery coming in. And just look at that, just that whole expanse of wood line. It's just absolutely stunning. And like I say, this is the very, very early stages. Uh, one thing they probably do have to work on is the vaulting uh, for this, as you can see now bit of weird gun floaty thing going on but uh, again very early out but they'll fix that before but just look at this forest the camera shake when the artillery rounds are landing as they get closer just the whole forest the way the sun moves through the trees
anyone who plays this uh, game will be happy with it basically it, it's very in-depth it draws you in you sort of get lost the, the games can take up to 30 minutes 40 minutes depending on how it goes but just all that the atmosphere the noises the, the graphics it just looks amazing like that for example absolutely stunning it's with a surround sound headset on that scared the living crap out of me I'm not gonna lie because I didn't expect it coming it literally scared the crap out of me but you can imagine when a full artillery barrage is landed near you it's gonna it's gonna draw you into that battlefield it's gonna make you feel like you are literally scared so then fired the rifle just to see what it was like you get the nice little animations again this reload animation I've noticed that's become sharper uh, it's a lot more detailed now it's, like they said before and when I mentioned the updates they've sort of made the edges a lot more smoother they've sharpened it up they've made, made it look a lot more tweaked and again very early still very very early so if they've managed to crack all this straight away it speaks good for all the content coming out like I say they're on about bringing artillery as playable in cavalry as playable there's going to be so much there's going to be surgeons running around the battlefield this so you can have stretcher bearers all this it's going to be so immersive that whole immersive thing but I just cannot get over how amazing this woods look what I basically wanted to do now is get out of the woods um, before my eyes melted out of my head out of joy and go out and see what the little bit of the rest of the map was without making it too much of a boring but you see that mist on the ground you see the houses in the distance as they came for it, it will be the sort of smoke and you sort of get pulled into it really really do get pulled into it and I've been in some big fights on this so far and I really it is immersive I cannot say it enough I, I really am impressed with this game I recommend it highly anyone who's not got it or bought into it if if you are thinking about it really do because it is an investment in my opinion you're investing in something that's going to eventually be quite an amazing game it's going to be very popular so again another little open side thought I'll fire it out in the open that little muzzle flash at the end very impressive detailed so it's been a short shortish video so i hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it's been helpful and a bit updated so you so people know what's happened in the updates and so it's a bit more information your way if you like these like and subscribe I will be making more of these videos and thanks for watching my YouTube channel this is Nathan Mad saying goodbye